What's up guys, Christian here and welcome to another video. Today we have something very cool, super interesting video for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna talk about iPhone unlocking. I'm practically a professional on iPhone unlocking. As you can see here, we have every iPhone, especially from the first generation iPhone all the way down to the newest and latest iPhone out there. And today you are gonna learn everything that there is to know about phone unlocking. Um, first of all, I wanna thank you guys because we are almost reaching 2 million followers. So thank you so much for all the support. You guys are amazing. I'll try to keep uploading more content more constantly um, because it's been a while. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. So first we're gonna talk about the three different types of locks. The first type is the carrier lock. The carrier lock is if your phone is locked to a specific carrier for a specific SIM card. So let's say for example, your phone is locked to AT&T and you wanna switch to use it with a different SIM card. Uh, you need to unlock the carrier network in order to use it with a different SIM card. So I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. Another type of lock is the passcode or the face ID lock. This is if you forgot the security code or your face ID is not working and your phone is disabled. So I'm gonna show you how to unlock or how to restore your iPhone in order to bypass the activation screen or the lock screen. Um, if you are interested on the passcode lock, please go ahead and skip to this minute because that's where we start with the passcode lock. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the iCloud lock and I'm gonna explain how it works. Basically, that's the kind of lock that if your phone is uh, locked to an iCloud account, uh, for some reason you forgot the passcode, you will be able to use your phone again. Now, this is a very ethical way to unlock your phone. I'm not gonna talk about shady stuff. We are gonna do 100% legal, um, ethical ways, legit ways to unlock iPhones. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the first type of lock. So we're gonna go ahead and start right away. We're gonna start with a carrier unlock. So the carrier unlock will allow you to use your phone with multiple SIM cards. So if you travel or if you switch providers, you simply are gonna be able to insert a new SIM card and your phone will be compatible. It is 100% um, safe. There is no hacking or any kind of damage to the phone. It is 100% legal, safe, and I have done this more than 100 times. Uh, just to show you an idea, this phone uh, is, to, is locked to AT&T and I'm gonna insert a T-Mobile SIM card which is not supported and if your phone is not unlocked, you will see this error or this problem. It says activation required and your phone is not able to recognize the SIM card. So I'm gonna show you how to unlock the network of your iPhone so that it is compatible with any SIM card in any country. It's gonna be super simple. All you need to unlock your iPhone is a computer. It can be Windows or Mac. You need your iPhone. You need a USB cable to connect your iPhone to your computer. And of course, you're gonna need a SIM card, especially the SIM card that you want to use your iPhone with. Um, before we start, I have to mention that it is a 100% legit way to unlock your iPhone. However, we will have to pay to unlock this iPhone. So just keep that in mind. So with that said, the first step is to get the phone's IMEI information. And for that, we are gonna do the following command. So simply unlock your iPhone, go to the dialing pad and dial star hash zero six hash. And as you can see here, the 15 digit IMEI number will show up in the screen of your iPhone. This is very, very important. Using this number, we will unlock this iPhone. It's gonna be remotely. So we just need to send over this IMEI number. This will only work if your phone is not reported as lost or stolen. So if you have a stolen iPhone, this method will not work. By the way, this is exactly the same procedure with any other iPhone. So I'm gonna show you star hash zero six hash and you will see that the IMEI number will show up in the screen. It will work for any other generation of iPhone. For now, we're gonna to switch to the computer because the rest of the process will take place on the computer. All right, so the first thing you have to do is to go to the website unlockriver.com. In this website, we will request the remote unlocking of the iPhone. So we just need to uh, go here to the, this form and we're gonna select the original carrier that your phone is locked to. My phone is originally locked to AT&T in the US. So I will select that one. Then you select the brand. I'm gonna select Apple. And then you will select the model. In this case, I'm gonna be unlocking an iPhone SE 2020 version. But this method will work for any other version. Lastly, we're gonna insert the 15 digit IMEI number. That's the number we got at the beginning of the video. Uh, th if you don't know this number, we can also get it from the back part of the box. Anyways, make sure you write it down correctly. Then you're gonna write down your personal email, 
where you want to get notified once we get um, the confirmation to unlock this iPhone. Make sure you write it down correctly. If you scroll down, you're going to see the average delivery time and the price to unlock your iPhone. This will always vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier and model. So keep that in mind. Then we're going to proceed by clicking unlock now. And on the following screen, you're going to see a summary of your order. Just double check everything here. Make sure you read all the information. It is always safe to understand how unlocking a phone uh, works, but no worries. This is 100% safe. I have unlocked more than 100 iPhones using this method. And um, so we're going to just proceed down here to place the order. And I'm going to be back once everything is completed. And I'm going to show you how, what's the next step once you have completed your order. So I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, so after placing your order, you just have to wait until you get the confirmation that your iPhone has been unlocked. So it will take a couple of days. Sometimes it's super fast. Sometimes it takes a couple of more um, days. So you have to be very patient. But once your order is completed, you're going to get an email just like this. So we're going to switch to my personal email and I'm going to show you how's the email that I just got. As you can see here, I got this message from Unlock River and it says order completed, iPhone successfully unlocked. We're going to open it. And as you can see here, it says your iPhone has been factory unlocked. Now, simply we need to connect the iPhone to the internet. And there are two ways we can do this, using the Wi-Fi method and the iTunes method. For this example, we're gonna use the iTunes method. So once you receive the confirmation on your email, you have to make sure that your phone is running on the latest iOS version. So for that, simply go to general and go to software update and make sure that your phone is currently running on the latest version. If you are not on the latest version, you're going to see the option here to download and install the latest version and your phone will be updated. So make sure you are running on the latest version. It is not required, but it's recommended. All right, so the next step is to connect your iPhone to the computer using the USB cable. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect the iPhone. And now we have to insert a SIM card into this iPhone. For example, my phone is locked to at and I'm going to use a SIM card from T-Mobile. So it should be a different SIM card, one from the new carrier or any other uh, SIM card different than the original carrier. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it and we're going to run iTunes in the computer. By the way, make sure that you're running the latest version of iTunes. I'm going to include a link on the description of this video so that you can go ahead and download it directly from Apple. So we're going to wait a couple of seconds and you should get this message that basically confirms that the iPhone has been successfully unlocked. Boom. There you go, guys. That's how you unlock an iPhone. So as you can see here, my phone is unlocked. It's running on T-Mobile and my phone was originally from AT&T. Or just to show you that the phone was unlocked successfully, I'm gonna make a random call and we're gonna see if the phone is able to make calls. Your call may be monitored and recorded. Perfect, so there you have it guys. This phone is now fully factory unlocked and now you can use your phone with any carrier. You can update, you can restore your iPhone and your iPhone will always remain unlocked. It is as simple as that and I hope this, vi this video helped you unlock your phone. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the passcode lock. This is if your phone has been locked with a passcode or your face ID is not recognized. Uh, I am assuming that you are the owner of your iPhone. So I'm gonna show you how to bypass and how to unlock your iPhone. In fact, if your phone is locked with an iCloud account, this method will not work. So make sure that you are the original owner of the iPhone so you wouldn't have any problems later. Now, before we proceed with this method, I have to mention a couple of things. The first thing is that all the information about this phone will be deleted. That means if you have photos, contacts, messages, applications, everything inside this phone will be completely, completely wiped and erased. So make sure you have a backup somewhere in the computer or in the iCloud. Uh, if you have a backup somewhere, you won't have any issues. So you will get uh, all the information back into the phone. But if you don't have any backup, this method will erase all the information of your iPhone. So I just want to make sure that I'm very, I'm very clear right now because I don't want any issues uh, with that. So it's your own responsibility. Up next, we're going to enter recovery mode into the iPhone. Uh, we're going to use a computer and a USB cable. That's all we need to unlock this iPhone. And uh, we are going to proceed. So the first thing you have to do is to locate the two side uh, volume up key and volume down key and also the, the side button right here. So we're gonna press the volume up key, volume down key, and press and hold the side button. And we're gonna press it and hold it for, I would say around 30 seconds. So you're gonna just uh, wait until the phone completely powers off and uh, keep holding it, don't let go. If you miss it, you're gonna have to try it again. But if we reached uh, recovery mode successfully, you're gonna see a message just like this in the screen of your iPhone. 
So as you can see here, it says your iPhone should be connected to the computer. So make sure that your phone is connected to the computer and you're running the latest version of iTunes. I'm gonna include a link in the description of this video where you can download and install the latest version of iTunes. Up next, we're gonna to switch to the computer because the rest of the process will take place in the computer. So as you can see here, I have connected my iPhone and running iTunes and you will get the message that the phone has been successfully detected as recovery mode. And now we have two options, to restore and to update. For this example, I'm gonna hit restore and the iPhone will restore. It's gonna take a couple of minutes or even a few hours depending on your internet connection. And I'm gonna be back once my iPhone has been fully restored. I'll see you guys in a bit. If you have a backup of all the information on your computer or in the iCloud, simply click where it says restore backup and you should be able to get all the information in back into your phone. So now that the iPhone has been fully restored, we should get the activation screen. And here you simply need to insert all the details about your iPhone and you should be able to use your phone without any issues. If your phone has an iCloud lock, you're gonna see this screen right here. And if this is your case, you need to contact the original owner of your iPhone in order to bypass or how to unlock this activation screen on the iCloud lock. And if you really cannot find the account and the password, uh, you should skip to this minute where I explain how to unlock the iCloud lock. So I'm gonna insert this, uh, all the information here. And there you have it guys, the phone has been now fully factory unlocked and ready to be used, boom. And my phone has been fully restored. So that's how you unlock the passcode of your iPhone. Okay, now we're gonna talk about iCloud locks. So you need to be the original owner of the iPhone or you need to know the passcode and the password to unlock your iPhone. If you're the original owner, you should be able to access this information. If you are not the original owner, it is not possible to unlock the iCloud. However, I'm gonna include a link to some articles that will guide you on how you can probably solve this. Uh, I'm gonna include a link down below so you can follow those articles. So there you have it guys, that's how you unlock any iPhone. Thank you so much. I hope this video helped you unlock your phone. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments section down below and I will try to answer them as quick as possible. Thank you so much. My name is Christian and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.